Hello, Lawrence Grayson back again for shortformvideo.com with the fourth and you'll be pleased to hear final part of this Sands of Time tutorial series. Now in the first three steps I showed you how to create this, engraved text in stone, a sandstorm reveal, and the text to sand particle effect you see being rendered here. Now in this final part I'll be showing you how to create a nice and easy metallic gold text effect. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is turn off the visibility for the text to sand component. Um, as we've mentioned before, this is uh, very processor intensive, so if you leave it switched on, it'll just uh, make everything take a little bit longer than it should. Next step is to duplicate the uh, engraved text 2. So select it and hit Ctrl and D. Remove the noise effect because we don't need that. Twirl down to see the layer styles and delete those as well. Now the final part is just to delete the uh, animated mask component as well. So you can either find the mask properties or just hit M to bring them up and delete them too. And that will bring us back to our uh, standard piece of sandy colored text. Now our animation is going to start at around the five second mark because as you can see that's the point at which the uh, particles and the sandstorm have passed by. So I'm just going to uh, crop the text layer to the five second point. Go to the character settings and pick a color that's closer to gold. Now you need it to be fairly bright because we'll be adding some filters that will darken it down later on. So uh, something around that mark and hit OK. First step, right click on it, select layer styles and bevel and emboss. Twill down the bevel and emboss settings and uh, select chisel hard. Increase the size to 15 and just set the softening to 3. If I just undo that and zoom in you'll see why. When you select chisel hard it sometimes creates these uh, rather rough edges caused by the pixelated um, lines on the side of the text. So if you just soften it off by a value of 3 it just smooths all of those out and makes it look a little bit more realistic. You can leave all the other settings to their defaults. Now to give it that gold effect look right click on your text, select layer styles and satin and you can see immediately because it's darkening it down it gives it a much more golden look. Now you can leave it at that but um, I just want to add a quick animation so uh, twirl down the satin effect properties make sure the timeline indicator is at the beginning of your uh, text layer so that should be the five second mark hit the uh, stopwatch next to angle you can see it defaults to 19 degrees move the timeline indicator to the end of your sequence and just reduce it, take it down to about, I don't know, minus 150. And if I scrub through, you'll see that just gives us that moving sheen, which makes the effect a little bit more interesting. And the final step here is just to give it a little fade in. So uh, with the timeline indicator back at the beginning of the text, so five second mark, select your text layer, hit T to bring up the opacity, check the opacity stopwatch to create a keyframe, Hold down shift and hit page down twice to advance by 20 frames. Add a new keyframe. Go back to your first keyframe and just set it to zero. And all that will do is create a nice easy fade in. So turn your text to sand composition visibility back on and uh, render it out. This will take a while so uh, once again I'll see you on the other side. Now I'll be posting the original After Effects project file on my website at shortformvideo.com so if you'd like to have a bit of a play around with the project settings from the original After Effects file then go to shortformvideo.com and search for Sands of Time project file and you should find it there. As always, hope you found it useful and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.